we are back for another search looking for Roseanne Payne. She went missing in 1994 in a 1989 Peking Volvo. The lake had gotten down years ago to where you could actually drive a car off of that side down on the lake bed and drive around. So around this peninsula, uh, it ended up dropping to four, three to four feet. So with the water when it went down, you know, the, all that was exposed. We covered everything from both sides of Two Mile Bridge. And let's see if we have any uh, new success tomorrow. We're four feet deep and we've got tree limbs everywhere that we're trying to dodge. And all you can do is turn around. Okay. <laughs> we have a car right here. Yeah, this one doesn't come out like uh, Carrie's does. So if you look at the distance that we're at right now, yeah, and like the Carrie's, wall is short. Car Carrie's would have been like right here for the causeway that came out. Right. This causeway is actually over another 18, 20 feet. Yeah. This one's not very big. The wall is smaller. Yeah. Because when I came off of Carrie's car and we were searching, you know, it, it didn't take me long to get to the bottom of that wall. I actually had to pop up and like, am I seriously at the wall already? And that's what that's just what happened to her is her car might have just hit the wall and then floated out a few feet and then just dropped. Yeah, it went down that causeway wall. And we're at seven feet now, so now we're at a place to where we can start hiding a car here. And so you can see like there's a tire at the bottom of the causeway. Here's the causeway. Concrete underwater is what we're looking at right, right here. So here's the top of the water. And you remember exactly what Carrie's car looked like, right? So what? This is gonna look the same as Carrie's did on sonar. Oh yeah. Yeah, very deteriorated. But it will still have the shape of a car. All right, Doug. So we just got done putting in here at Duck Cove, a little boat ramp here. We covered both sides of this causeway. We're currently on the backside coming back to the bridge, we've not seen anything. Where do we go from here? So yesterday, you know, we've covered both sides of this causeway here. We've covered all of Hawk Cove. We've covered all of the, the uh, Waco Bay. We've covered everything up to Two Mile Bridge, both sides of Two Mile Bridge. I do know that we have like three, two or three entry points up here that I wanna go check out today. But is there anything else down here at Duck Cove that needs to be covered before we take off? Really old mobile home park, no entry points, shallow, no roads, no entry points. That takes us back over to the causeway by Cary. They said that this entire area down here dried up. They had four wheelers they were driving down in here. So nothing down here. That then brings us to no entry points. Potential over here, a little roundabout area, but it gets shallow and dry over there. Black, how about Black Point? Let's jet out to Black Point real quick. Okay. Because you have all sides of that one. So that one is hopeful. Let's see if there's a, any other boat ramps over here by chance. And then we also have a little boat ramp at the end of Wood Hollow Circle. But I feel like that kind of takes us into a cove that, that might have been too shallow back in the day, but let's, since we're that close, let's go hit it. And then that'll clear that area with another potential there that we can jet across to from there, coming up out of Ash Cove. 
So three, four points over here we need to go hit real quick. Sound good? Sounds great, man. Let's go get them, knock them out while we got daylight. All right, we'll scan this entire park here. So this is where we're going right here. So you can see the public ramp on the other side of the dock there. But yeah, we'll start over here with the scan. And then come around and the ramp is over there on the other side of the dock. I don't think this is a public ramp anymore. It does look private, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks really private. That was my last hopeful spot over here, I think. Let me see if there's anything else. And how deep? Th only three feet, three and a half, only four feet. Only three feet. Um, so we've covered both sides of this causeway. Let's take me away from the, again, the accident. Let's take me away from the suicide. Are we talking about foul play on this one? And if so, who might be involved? Where might they put her? Well, that's we what yeah, we were talking about that. She, she, more likely it would probably be if something did happen, foul play, it was someone she probably knew. She, uh, she had a few friends, about four or five friends, um, beat her up real good in the bathroom of a bar, and then one of them came out that she used to always hang out with, come out and talk to me and told me that your mother's a snitch. Tell me about this quarry that was in question for us last time, and if this might play into it, or if you've heard of any rumors, or if anything's been proven or disproven, there's a quarry down the road, and I forget where it was at, and it has a- 429, yeah, there's, that's gonna be on 429 at the, at the county lines. I have heard rumors about that. It was mainly in discussions about the Kerry Parker case. Okay. Uh, that's about the only case I've really heard ties with mm -hmm. the, the quarry itself. Uh, but I mean, right now, anything's possible on this. Is there, I mean, is, is there any way you guys can facilitate in getting us on that quarry? I can make a phone call. Uh, yeah. The sheriff knows a lot of people. I mean, he could, he could possibly call right. some things. Yeah. But, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's see if we can yeah. get gain access. But yeah, if somebody around here, you know, knows the history of them and says, this is the one that has always been in question. This is the deepest one, or you know, if we can gain any of that information and access today. In the meantime, we're gonna pack things up and we're gonna go knock out those three on the north side. on the uh, 276 bridge on the other side of where we were looking on two mile yesterday. But look, I mean, look at this though. We're four feet deep and we've got tree limbs everywhere that we're trying to dodge to get out here in the water that might be deep enough. We started this, uh, they were kind enough, this RV park over here, incredible. It's all private. They gave us access to their private boat ramp, so big shout out. It was a Skyway? Sky, I'll tell you exactly who it is right now because we want to make sure that we give them, you know, props and thank you for uh, letting us jump over there. Skyview RV Park. Yeah. So if you're in the Lake Tawakini area, make sure that you do reach out to them, tell them thank you and, you know, go use their services. Definitely, uh, I would stay here if I was staying in the RV another night for sure. So the weather's starting to kick in again already today. So we got a little bit of ways, but they're not, you know, they're not gonna knock us out of the, off the water right now. We're right next to this causeway. Right now we are currently in seven feet of water, so we're really right at the depth that as long as it start, keeps getting deeper, this is a potential spot for us. If it gets shallower in the five foot range, then it's not gonna be deep enough for us. So just got an update from the Hunt County Sheriff. They have acquired consent for us to access the quarry. And the homeowner that the sheriff spoke with is actually adamant that there is a car in the quarry that they know about. Okay, we need to finish this uh, little route right here. Yeah. And we need to, I wonder if it's our car. I don't know, but we've been out here for three, four days and haven't found a car yet. So uh, it's something at this point. 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big step forward in this case. Okay, well, let's uh, finish this. We're on the other side of that RV park right now, so we'll do that and then head back over there. Cool. All right. Doug just got done reading me your uh, text message. Sounds like a great news. Yes, so uh, the quarry went over there, Kaufman County Road, made contact with one homeowner. Uh, a couple of the houses didn't really look like anybody was home. A couple of the houses are for sale, for sale signs in the yard. Uh, the one homeowner I did make contact with, uh, filled out consent to search form, all good with us coming on the property. The, the husband's actually familiar with y'all, watches y'all on social media. Oh, that's nice, so, all right. Uh, uh, but he said, yeah, we have access to the water. More than welcome to come on the property. He said you can pull, pull the camper right on the property. We're good to go. Excellent. Uh, he said that he has himself seen a vehicle in the quarry. He thinks it's a white vehicle. Okay, excellent. So he's already scanned the whole thing. He huh? hasn't scanned it. The water's so clear, and when it was when it was down one time, he was able to actually kind of see okay. down into it. Okay. So we may have more in there as well. It's very high potential. Yes. All right, well, let's, All right. Uh, we'll load up our boat, and let's head over. It's still... You know what, one o'clock almost? So we, yeah, we still have some time today for sure. Perfect. Thank you, sir. You bet. So tell us about these uh, quarries. So my understanding is you've actually spotted a vehicle in here before. I have. And these things have been here since like the 50s. Okay. Late 50s, early 60s. And there's also supposed to be a truck in here, but I think it got, what's that? I think it got left when they hit water. Okay. And they just bailed and moved over and started another one. Right. But there's 14 of them right down through the county. So how long have you been here and how long has this guardrail been over here? I don't know about the guardrail. We've only been here a couple of years. Okay. Uh, but. I guess Kyle can show you. We can go down there. It's just pretty much right off. There's a sheer rock wall right there, and it's right down in there. Okay. And you may not see it. It's really hard to see from the surface, you know that. Okay. Well, we got the sonar, so yeah, we'll be able to ripples and stuff, but spot it there. Of the quarries that are out here, which ones do you think would be the most likely for somebody? Accident, give me accident scene versus a foul play scene. Which ones would be most likely? This one? The next one, because it's actually off of 429, you can see it from 429. This one before, the one just above us here, before Kenneth Lane bought it and closed it in and calls it Quarry Lake now, that one would have been real accessible. Because right. there was nobody over there. He just pulled in the road and there it was. Okay. So. Is that the one that has the, first time we ever came to Lake Tawakini, there was one with like a guard shack out front? No. Which one is that one, do you know? I don't know. Oh. I mean, as far as, like I said, these three, would have been the ones that would would have been really accessible. All the others are on property. I mean, you can't get into the property. They're fenced and stuff, and they just go all the way down through the county. So okay. These three probably would have been the most accessible. If you're at Able Springs. If we're talking 1994. Right. You know, so, yeah. Okay. We've just got this uh, suited up, so let me uh, put a jacket on. Let's go see what we can find. Thank you. Thanks for your help today. We have a car right here. No, wait. Is that a car? Off to the left. Let's see if that's a car. Can't quite tell. Yeah, yeah I believe that we have a car right here. here. Let me see this. See that? See that? That's for me turning though. Uh, sure looks like wheels. Uh, yeah. I'll come back over it. So it's going to be dumped off this land here. Yeah, let me put it on my left further. Okay, right here. Yeah, we got a vehicle right there. Much older, deteriorated. Let's go put life scope eyes on it. Finally, we're finding vehicles. Oh, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing. So let's kind of eyeball where this one is at. Not 
creep up on it here. Uh, I think it's right about there. Right now we should be coming up on it. Right here. Definitely looks like an older vehicle to me. It's off to the right a little bit more. Let me see if I can put us right over it in the light scope for you. So let's move the sonar a little bit here. Oh yeah, we got a vehicle there. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, throw a magnet on it, make sure. Let's just go ahead and mark it because we can always, we're gonna dive these, right? That's a vehicle. Oh yeah, it's upside down. Oh yeah, you're dropping right on it. Right there. Fairly certain. Okay, drop it, drop it four more feet. Okay, bounce it there. You should bounce right onto it. And you should be all over it right there. I feel something. Yeah, that might be actually a tree. I feel something. Yeah, those aren't those aren't wheels. Those are tree limbs. Made to look like a tree in my opinion. I don't feel anything. Yeah, it's only three feet tall. I'll take you back over it. Okay, come up to it. And ten feet. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's a car. I don't know. It could be. Alright, you're right over the top of it. Right now. You see my magnet? Yeah, you gotta drop your magnet. Drop your magnet straight. There you go. Now you're on it. I'm all over it. I feel it. Yeah. Feels like a tree. Feels like a tree. I mean, I don't know. It's just, just not sticking, but I feel it. Yeah, yeah, you're bouncing all over it. All right, let me hit it at a different angle then. We'll just get eyes on it. I mean, we know where it's at right here, off of this. So let me just do a side scan on it. Go ahead and pull your magnet. So it's gonna be on the right over here. That's where it's gonna be. Yeah, that looks like a log to me. Old dock, like you said, at that angle. All right, that one rules that one out. In fact, that's what you have right there. You have an old dock there. It's probably part of it. So this road up here is definitely in, in the realm of an accident. Not foul play. Yeah, 100. percent And you know, and what Jim was also saying was that the guardrail looks newer. Which you know, back in the 90s, there may may or may not have been the guardrail. If it was like the 70s, I'd be like, oh yeah, there's no guardrail there at all. We got something else down here. I think this is a boat. Is what this one is. Let's zoom in on it. See, this this one is a boat. Oh yeah, all day long. We'll hit it at some different angles though. Just From that it. view, that's definitely a boat. Yeah. Yeah, so here's the light scope of it. Okay, we're right over it, right here. Not tall enough at all. So, boat, all day long. At least we're finding something now. I mean, we haven't first, found anything. It's, it's our first boat. Yeah, first boat. Yeah. I guess a boat counts as something. Where do we go from here? I mean, I would love to hit every quarry pond. I mean... Thirteen more to go, right? We just don't have enough time in our day and our trip for what we're doing on this one. This is, uh, in a respectful way, beginning to become a rabbit hole. Yeah because we also have the 
what if she did end up going towards Michigan and then she didn't make it to Michigan? We have that theory and that story as well. And I know, and I, and I do know quite a few people who have left a job and were too embarrassed to collect their last check. That they just didn't want to mess with it. You know, maybe it wasn't that much. Maybe it was just a day or two. Yeah, but not even leaving the job. I mean, she still had the job. It's not like she quit the job. Right. You know, so she could have, like, stayed and then picked up the last, you know, one more check. I don't know. This is a tough one, you know. She was known to disappear for several months at a time. For what we searched in Lake Tawakani, you know, it's 100% not where we searched. You know, we searched all of the major parts that she would have had close ties to. Yeah, and a lot of times, you know, I say, well, it's, if we can't find her, then it has to be foul play. You know, but we've disproven that time and time again that it doesn't have to be foul play. Right. In fact, to date so far, I don't believe that anything or anybody that we've ever found has ever been foul play. I'm not saying that foul play is not out there. I'm just saying the ones that we have done Correct. have never been foul play to date yet. Correct. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, where does that take us? Like, you know, we can't search the entire state of Texas. We have to have like a, we have absolutely zero good leads on this at all. The only thing, the only semi course sort of lead that we had on this was the, she went to the bars in West Lake Tawakany, Hot Cove, and she never went back to her sister's house over in Royce. Right. Those are our only three clues in all of this. We don't have any clues that took her any further east from Tawakany. We have zero clues that bring her down here, other than speculation of, well, she ran with the wrong crowd, years earlier she snitched, she got beat up for it, you know, so that those are our only, those are the only clues that we have. No cell phone pings, no eyewitnesses, no direction of travel. So at this point it comes down to running out of leads, logical locations which are based on leads, and time. All of that factors in. Yeah, this is a tough one. Oh, you know what? We got a vehicle over here. In a really strange spot. Check this out. <laughs> this, I don't know why it's over there. Look at that, upside down, right there. And turn this back to 75. Tell me that's not a car upside down right there. It, it does uh, appear to be. I just don't, I mean, it looks like a foot tall. Yeah, there's just no. It's right here. It's, all right, look. Yeah, there's, there's, there's absolutely no way a car is floating out here. This is Texas. It's not gonna freeze over. Yeah. Okay, it's right below us. But I gotta come up on it. All right, I see your magnet. Okay, drop it right there. I see all these different rocks here. Nope, this is not a rock. I'm gonna put you right back on it. This okay. This is the center of a rock quarry. Just. Hang on a minute, okay, it's off to the right. Oh wait, there's two of them side by side identical. Exactly. It's totally not a car, look at this. Look right here. Two of them side by side, identical. So now I'm gonna come over here. Oh, you're really low. Why is your magnet still in the water? Oh, 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 oh. Why is your magnet in the water right there? Oh, that's probably what it is right there. Look at that equipment that's down there. That, that kind of looks like what's underneath the water over there. Look at that. That's some old mill equipment. Yeah. So your uh, object there is not a car. I don't know what it was. So, like, how much of it did you identify? I, it looked like, I, when I looked down, I thought I saw a window and a top. Right. That's all I can see. I'm not, it looks so slimy, it was hard to tell. Yeah. So how low was the water at the time? Probably about like it is now. Okay. So what I ended up identifying there, to kind of give us some reference, and I kind of came right over the top of it, kind of in that shape? Yeah, maybe. And we ended up out here in the middle, and this is where we identified, you know, some equipment. So you have yeah, some equipment that you can actually see like three or four feet un under the water. Right. And then there's some that's about 25 to 30 feet under the water. That's probably one of those. Yeah, yeah. Some, some. some old platforms or some old 
troughs or something is what it was. So anyway, so that clears, you know, what our potential places are here next to the road. So we can dispel any of those rumors. Yeah. <clears throat> but the one across though is in the same position relevant to the road where if something goes off from either side, it's possible. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and that's what, and that's what we're thinking, and that's what we're thinking that they used to be open, you know. So, all right, well, I say uh, we have permission on that, so let's uh, jump over there real quick. Yeah, um, probably just off the road. Yeah, be my guess, unless there's a access in. Mark, Mark said he had access. Yeah, the, the, the other one is just over here on the other side of the road. Yeah, there's a couple of gates over there, but. Okay. <laughs> if not, we can drop in over the edge. So that's where we just finished. This is where we're at right here. Mm -hmm. And then that's either accident or lots of road right around it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go knock out that one real quick. Got a magnetometer on that one? No, but it's got a thermal camera. Nice. Uh, zoom laser, DJI, Matrix 300 series. The camera on that is $10,000 alone. Great for search and rescue. You know, you get it up in the woods. Holy, holy moly. Guys, right down there, all you can do is turn around. Okay. Uh, if it's a good little ways across, I don't know if y'all can make it right across there and pull right up over the water. That's perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop into here, turn up and around, and okay. back right up. So, all right. not to find a car in almost four days of scanning. That's that's unheard of. I've never been a part of a search that has never come up with a car. We we searched so many miles on the lake and not one car. So we have a uh, one more potential in question, like, you know, in talking to the officers here and the constables, you know, they're like, here's where we pulled a bunch of vehicles out before. If something's going to be dumped, here's the one that we need to go to next. So we're going to see if we can get permission to go to it that we're working on right now. Um, but it, this also comes back to the, a lot of times when we come into these, like we have a lot of clues. Normally this one, we have the, well, she partied over in the in town but we have no actual witnesses we have no actual date we have no cell phone pings. we have no direction is what she was going we have the rumor of you know michigan that she never made it to michigan if she was going to go we have the last check that wasn't picked up which then brings us back to the potential foul play just so many things on this that you know then we're looking at the well if she was at the bar dui what are the accident locations and we covered all of the accident locations or in the direction that she would be going whether whether back to hot cove or back to your home, you know, and this is like the, I'm throwing my hands up. I don't know where else to go for you other than I have one more hour for you. This is, so they, and, they, and, and right now, and right now I'm just throwing darts at that just to, so we're using, utilizing yeah, well, the most yeah, of our daylight. They think there might be something. And you guys, you guys have nothing else? Like, no, we're sorry. I mean, different places, but I mean, one or the other, we don't know. All right, well, like I said, I mean, that, I think that's kind of where we're at then, is just let's check out this last quarry if we get access to it. And okay. if not, you know, we're nearing the end of the day and we're going to have to, you know, make a call to, you know, a plea for anybody that's in the area that watches this. You know, you have a boat, you have sonar, keep your eyes peeled, you know, and yeah. if you happen to find a vehicle underwater, get a hold of Hunt County, you know, reach out to them and say, you know, we found a vehicle because Trust me, not all counties take it seriously, but right now they're going to be taking it very seriously. If you right. find a find a vehicle underwater, they're going to get you know DPS out here or yeah. somebody else, and they're going to find out what vehicle that is, and they're going to get it out of the water, guaranteed. And yeah. like I was saying earlier, you know, if, if if anyone out there knows something, say something, because if it, if this is foul play, someone out there knows something. 
say something. Be anonymous. Sure. Call Hunt County and, and let them know. Crime Stoppers. Yeah. Crime, crime Stoppers. stoppers. Hunt, yeah. Co Hunt County Sheriff Crime Stoppers. Yeah, a lot of times when uh, Crime Stoppers is involved, there's a reward. I've never heard. Is there a reward associated with Roseanne on this one? We haven't put it up, but we could if we need to. No, don't do that. A lot of times, like, Crime Stoppers will, will do it. But uh, I, I find that for the good people of the world, it's not going to entice the good people of the world to say something anyway. I don't know, but I mean, you've been in law enforcement quite a bit, so tell me about this. I mean, have you guys seen somebody come out of the woodwork specifically because there was a reward being offered? Uh, the sergeant that's been with you the last couple of days, Shannon, she would have more information on that. She runs the Crime Stoppers. Okay. But I can tell you, based off conversations we've had in passing, there has been people that have been caught and located based off the Crime Stoppers and the anonymous tips that are sent in. Okay. So, and I think there was a couple of them that caught and found where they didn't even want the reward. They weren't even interested in, in the reward itself. They just wanted to do the right thing. Right. Yeah, and that's where I'm coming back to. You know, we, we do run into this from time to time where families want to go overboard. You know, let's put together 50000 or 100000 or, you know, we can only afford five or we can only afford $500. To date, from what everything I've seen, it's never enticed the solving of the game. Somebody that knows something is going to come forward out of good faith good heart and a lot of times with the rewards you, you just get a lot of scammers scammers yeah. and and things that lead to nowhere because people are just money hungry you know yeah because there's somebody that knows her and knows her face even though she's been yeah. on the yeah. not counting missing seven or and but we just don't know who they are right they see her face and know it's what 27 years now and the likelihood of a lot of people in her life and or around this situation are still here. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, if you're watching this, say something. Let, let, let the family know that Crime Stoppers know something, anything. It could be the smallest thing that you may not think may mean anything that could lead to us finding her. Yeah, and we'll put that information down below it, in the description. So. Think about her having gray hair showing a little bit or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Order, hey, different things. Yeah. And I'm going to say this also, Roseanne, if you are out there, I mean, come on, look at this. I mean, your, your daughters and your, your sisters, I mean, they're all looking for you. So, I mean, reach out. Whatever the past was, time heals all wounds. If you feel like there's any wounds that are to be mended and, and healed, 100%. Those are going to go away if you're still alive. Yeah, and we thank y'all so much for everything y'all are doing. Yeah. We really do. We, do. we appreciate you very much. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are, all of you, a great we're bunch gonna, of guys. You know, we're we're going to tackle the next spot we're going to. Mm -hmm. okay. If it continues the way you know it's gone, I mean, you, you still have a lot of answers as to where Roseanne's not. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I know coming into this, it was you know, really Lake Tawakini, Lake Tawakini, you know, and yeah. Unfortunately, where all the ground that we covered in the lake, that's she's not there. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And that's and if anything, you know, when when you're in these searches and you have a missed loved one, knowing where she's not is still a step forward, even even after all these years. Yeah, it marks something off the list. Right, right. It's a process of elimination. It really is. You guys have been wonderful. I. I we were just, it's not your fault we don't get closure, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you tried your darndest. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. definitely helped us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. well, we're going to load the boat up now, and we'll see if we uh, receive some good news to jump on one more for you today. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome.
right now we just don't know and we did put out that plea as well for anybody in the area to reach out to Hunt County and Crime Stoppers and you know so now it's about you know the awareness bringing awareness to your mom and you know to your sister yeah. and to the case and fingers crossed something will come from it yeah. so Hopefully. yeah Thank you.